it's, it's great speaking after David because he always sets me up to win. Okay, so let's talk about this. Why sustainability? Well, I think David's talked very clearly about that. It always interests me that you have, we provide a health service of people who are sick and the health service makes people sick. Keeps us in jobs, but it's not very satisfactory, is it? But what you've got is a nursing workforce that uh, over Europe is uh, 3.4 million of us. And if you include other health professionals in that, that's a lot of people. And when I change the world, every single one of those people will wear a badge. And the badge will say, I helped save the planet today. So that every patient they speak to, which are millions, will say, why are you wearing that badge? And they'll say, today I, it was a meat-free day. Today I walked to work. Today I'm not going to throw away those last three very clean swabs that I could do into the clinical waste bag. I'm going to use them for something else. And so that would be the greatest discussion that we could ever have, and it's so simple. And what I'm talking about today are practical applications that you can all do and all take away, embedding education for sustainability into all your programs. But there are loads and loads of barriers, because changing anything in the NHS is like moving a tanker. It's extremely slow. There's a culture of the way things are done around here. So we're very, very anxious, not about evidence-based infection, but about dirtiness. We tend to say, we'll just use another one just, just in case, although that's not related to anything apart from our own sense of self or our own concept. We wear gloves for everything. Nurses wear gloves to change clean beds. They take another pair. They sometimes wear gloves to wash patients despite the fact that by washing their hands, their hands are cleaner than the very dirty, socially clean gloves they pull out of a box on the wall. We've got to get this right. People are very, very worried about infection prevention, but they, there's, it's counteracted by the worry about how much we throw away. We buy loads of stuff, 60% of our income goes on bu buying stuff. We use it once, we throw it away, we don't think about using it again. So how do you motivate nurses? I'm in the right place, aren't I? Yes. You've got to make it relevant. That's what the nurses said to us. You must make this relevant. It's got to be about what we do every day. So we started to think about how we could make it relevant to nurses. We had to motivate nurses to want to really take part in this program. And we've begun to be able to do that, that very thing because the Sustainability Society and Health Research Group at Plymouth University has been working for 10 years with, on, and trying to build an evidence base. First of all, I went round and I talked to all the senior leaders that I could find and said, do you, what do you think about climate change? I tried to understand their attitudes. I tried to understand their knowledge. After that, we did a very large uh, study with, on procurement. So we took every item that was bought in one calendar year and we looked at which items would most affect patient experience and service delivery if they were no longer available. And we used that information to embed sustainable education in all three years of nurse training so that nurses would pick things up and say, oh my God, if I didn't have this, I couldn't provide the service that I need to. So very, very clear. The next thing we did was that we created the Nurse Us Toolkit, and this is for you all. And there are cards on the back about how you access it. The Nurse Us Toolkit was launched in Germany last week. It's a collaboration between universities, school, schools of nursing in Spain, in Holland, and in Germany. Um, all three uh, heads of nursing in those countries have committed to using the, uh, the education materials in their nursing curriculum going forward. So we will have sustainability embedded in largely across Europe because um, this is a tool that everybody can use. The materials are easily accessible. They're accessible on a Moodle site. You just click on your language because they're available in six language, you, languages and you go through and you find all the materials you could possibly need to, uh, to uh, educate your student group. All the materials are evidence-based. We did a huge Delphi study across, um, the, across uh, 
a third of European countries, where we asked educators and health practitioners in senior positions to be able to give us their opinion on a variety of um, subjects that we want, because what we wanted to know was what do nurses need to know in order to be able to change their practice. So this is incredibly evidence-based, and we created this uh, lovely house of workability, which is about values, it's about information, it's about um, uh, how you deliver education and how you change curricula. And these are the topics. So a huge range of topics. Under each of those topics are um, a, a range of information. So you've got information. You, every, every topic has um, a three or four areas where you can start uh, using the materials. There are so many things. There are uh, PowerPoint presentations. There are lecture notes. There are teacher guidance. There's lots and lots of resources. You'll find uh, YouTube clips of Hugh, YouTube clips of David. There are also lots of uh, YouTube clips from around the world. And uh, they're all um, very, very versatile. Anyone who's interested in sustainability can use these. Um, it's really important that we don't just see it, because it's called Nurse Us, doesn't mean it's just for nurses. It's for um, the marine department could use it. The business school here are already using it. We, I've used it with vets. I've used it with uh, various doctors. But I had a doctor come to see me the other day. I'm not Dr. Bashan. He just happened to be a doctor. And he came up to me and he said, oh, this is Nurse Us. That's great. Are you doing anything for doctors? And I nearly hit him around the head with a cricket bat because actually it's for everybody and everybody can use these materials. Please take a card at the back, go online. It's a simple registration process and uh, then you can repurpose all the materials. You can download them, they're Word documents, we've done that purposely so that you can really, really use them in your own areas of work. There's lots of other things that we're doing We've just set up uh, a green nurses network with the Royal College of Nursing, and um, that should be coming online soon. And it joins together nursing um, across many, many countries. Um, we're particularly keen to hear from nursing students who'd like to be involved. Um, and uh, you can contact Rebecca Gibbs. These, these slides will be available, so you'll be able to uh, contact Rebecca Gibbs if you'd like to be involved. You don't have to be a nurse. It's just it's about health-related things. We've also just become part of a global consortium on climate change and health education. Um, this joins together uh, organizations from across the world. It came out of Columbia University in the States, but it's beginning to join health professionals across the world. If we've got 3.4 million people just across Europe that we can tap, if they all wear a badge, if everybody does one thing, we can have a huge impact. Nursing particularly is a fantastic resource. Nurses are trusted, as we've just found out, more than anybody else. And as we learned yesterday, if you are a trusted informant, people are more likely to listen and change their behavior. So we have a duty to be able to be the uh, change agents of tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>